This year we were lucky enough to get onto one of the courses by the British Divers Marine Life Rescue. Such an amazing course. I thought I'd take you through this with us and introduce you to some of the guys we met on our way. My name is Dan Jarvis. I'm the Welfare Development and Field Support Officer as well as the Volunteer Area Coordinator for Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly with British Divers Marine Life Rescue. I first got involved with the charity in 2002 when I undertook the Marine Mammal Medic training course. I began studying towards a degree in marine biology as was at college at the time and also volunteered with a number of other organisations too including Cornwall Seal Group Research Trust, Cornwall Wildlife Trust's Marine Strandings Network and I also after finishing the studies then worked at the Cornish Seal Sanctuary for 10 years before I moved on and joined BDMLR in my current job. Uh, so absolutely anyone can come and do the BGMLR Marine Mammal Medic course as long as you're over 18. Uh, you don't need to have any previous um, animal related experience at all um, and certainly you don't need to be a diver either. Uh, so a lot of people do ask us that and the uh, word diver in our name comes from the fact that the charity was um, originally brought together by a group of divers who were responding to uh, an outbreak of disease in common seals back in uh, 1988. Um, so that's where the word diver comes from, um, but you certainly don't need to be a diver to be one of our medics. going out to assess uh, a seal pub, for example, there are going to be certain things that we look for that would indicate whether that animal is in reasonably good health or not. Um, so certainly we want to assess things like their body condition. So we want pups to be uh, a nice round shape, nice and fat, uh, and not sort of looking really skinny and with their, their bones sticking out. And... We asked Dan, what can we or what should we do if we found an animal stranded on a beach? So in case of a seal, it's keeping well back from it. Don't interfere or try to touch it. They do have teeth and they can bite and will defend themselves if they feel threatened. And we also don't want to disturb them either because their first thing will be to run away and escape into the sea where of course we won't be able to get them either. So keep well back, keep dogs on a lead and well under control and make sure that the animal is allowed to rest until help can get there if the, if the member of the public is able to stay with it. In the case of a situation with a cetacean that's life stranded though, it can be quite variable depending on what's going on at the time and of course taking safety into account as well. We always try to advise people never go in the water with the animals and certainly don't try to refloat them by yourself as well. It's incredibly risky, but we also must appreciate the animals probably stranded for a really, really good reason, whether that be through ill health or severe injury. And this might need much more attention from our team as well as a veterinarian to make sure the animal is getting what it needs in that kind of situation. So it's really important for us as well to get photos and videos from members of the public who encounter these animals. It can give us a really good idea very early on about what resources might be needed. And the same is the case with seals as well, because it gives us an idea of what we might need to be acting on. And the more information we can get, the more it helps us act more efficiently as well.
A member of the public who finds an animal in distress or that they're concerned about on the beach can ring our 24 hour hotline 01825 765546 and they can speak to one of our hotline coordinators who can provide advice and if assistance is necessary then they can facilitate getting some of our volunteer marine mammal medics out to the beach to assess and take care of the animal from that point onwards. We'll also be able to provide advice over the phone in particular situations about what the best potential actions might be that the member of the public can take to help keep that animal safe as well. The BDMLR do an amazing job and they rely on our donations guys. So let's do what we can.